Why don't you go in? Ah, oh, for the love of flipping peep, we're not trapped in a hospital. That's sick, and, and not in a good way. Let's just see if they let us leave some pamphlets in the lobby. And you're dancing solo, cowboy. <laughs> they only allow non-denominational literature in the lobby. What I flip and tell you. Anything I can do? I. Sorry. I don't do this. I refuse to break down in front of strangers when someone dies. I'm so sorry. You should have made me do it. Just turn it off. I. Watching a line on a little screen just go straight. He always said that television would be the death of him. You see your husband? <sighs> no. Never my official husband. Then again. Probably my, my best friend. His doctor Ben called me and said it was time. This is what he wanted. I should have been prepared for it. I. <laughs> Grant? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Um, I'm a Mormon missionary. Um, we just pass out pamphlets, and then they give us these discussions so that we memorize. I don't really know what to say here. Do you ever read the Sunday comics? I think your pardon? The, the comic page. When I was a little kid, I used to put my face right up to them, you know. Um, and I was just amazed because it was just this massive dot. I think life is like that sometimes. But I like to think that from God's perspective, life, everything, I mean, even this, Makes sense. It's not just dots. Instead, we're all we're all connected, and it's beautiful, and it's funny, and it's good. You know, from this close, we, we we can't expect it to make sense right now. Keep it. Would you come and see me? Please. Drinks around the house? Oh, uh, we don't drink. Well, that must make your church a bit of a hard sell. At times? <laughs> yeah. Just hang on to it anyway. Maybe you come by for a meal? On me? I will. Promise? I promise. So, did you have fun talking to the crying lady? Yeah, I did actually. Good. So we missed lunch. <laughs>